All right, all right. Today we're going to do something a bit different because this is a very volatile market. It's very important you have a bigger picture update of where we are, where we're going, and what the leaders are. And also you need to understand what a risk off market is. So very quickly, I want to go back to a clip from the intraday update on August 1st when we started to get the bearish engulfing candle. And I want you to really listen to what I said on August 1st because that has been very relevant to the last few days of price action. But one thing I always try to remind you is that when a market is getting risk off, off, nothing changes sentiment faster than price and if everybody is getting nervous and running for the door whether it's warranted or not price does all of the talking on the chart and if price is going lower and breaking through critical support and putting in a lower low after we get this lower high that is not something you should be ignoring so just be aware of that so instead of focusing so much on this gap fill I'm just going to add a new risk level here at 538 and if we break below 538 that is the lower high into the lower low and at that point if you are still bullish you are going to be taking on a lot of risk in this market because at that point if we do break 538 we will have lost the bullish support trend line we will have lost the support of the previous lower low and if we make a brand new lower low from a lower high that is really when you can start to get that panic selling and high volume fear and when you get high volume panic selling things can be irrational to the downside and we could go way lower than anybody expects so please take this seriously. I am not trying to scare you. I am simply trying to make a video so that you could be prepared for this because any experienced trader who has been through a bear market or a deep correction can tell you these are not price action indications you want to ignore. But if we do break down to new lows, that is just not something you can ignore. And that is why I'm telling you now have a plan in place and do not rule out this bearish scenario of the lower high rejection if we break to a lower low. That will be 100% objective, and even bulls that were buying the dip are going to need to reduce risk because that is part of managing risk and having a risk management strategy no matter what. You never ignore price action on a chart. All right, so that was the warning that we had on August 1st, and the rest is history because we've been in free fall ever since then. And I did say SPY below 538 was risk off, but you're probably sitting there wondering if it is time to get risk on, and if you are going to get risk on, at what point do you know you're wrong, and at what point do you realize it's still a risk off market? And that is what I wanna help you with today. So in order to help you answer that question, we first identify we know it is a risk off market. We broke below the risk level from the lower high rejection. All of the things I said about sentiment changing with price have already happened. People are extremely fearful, calling for tops, calling for recessions, worried about wars, all of the same fears we always see during a downturn that seem to just magically go away during bull trends. But that is typically very normal because most traders are simply sentimental based on the price. They don't fully understand how fundamentals impact the market. That's why whether the chart is going up or down are influencing them the most. So there's a few things I want to focus on tonight, and we will be looking at the NASDAQ 100 E-mini futures, which is the continuous NQ contract. And I am very zoomed out here because I am going all the way back to the very left of your screen at the bottom left. This is the 2023 lows when the bear market had finally reached the bottom, but nobody officially knew it yet. That was the bottom of the NASDAQ 100. And ever since then, we continued to rally higher with higher lows and higher highs within a very powerful bull trend. And the one thing I want you to focus on is the fact that we are now sitting right at that support trend line. As of this morning, we hit that support and had a very violent bounce off of it on very high volume. And it is objective to say, looking at this chart, that if this higher low holds, we still do have a bull trend on a multi-year scale. And as you can see, based on today's low, we also did test that capitulation low from the month of April, where the market also reached another bottom before another powerful bull trend. So the first thing we need to identify is that if you are a bull that was completely fine to get risk on today at the low because you had a very good risk level and an objective reasoning to say that this is still a bull trend on the larger degree scale until we break that support. So one thing you really need to go ask yourself in your trade plan is what is your goal and what is your strategy? If you are a longer term swing trader, I can easily see how you started to buy today because there is a very good reason to do so with very low risk if this does indeed end up being a bottom within a bull market before we continue higher in another bull trend. Now this is unknown whether we are going to continue higher until we get more confirmation from price, but it is definitely a speculation that you can have with a very clear risk level at the April lows and the low that we had this morning when we gapped down and hit the April low. And it is by no surprise that buyers stepped in today and pushed the market higher. Now, if you are buying here, 
That simply means if we break down below that, we are looking for a retest of the highs from July 2023. And that means we will give back all of this year's gains. We may even go into negative territory because that was also the lows in January. And if that happens, people are now going to be begging the question of whether or not this is even still a bull market, and they will have a very good objective reason to believe that. So right now, objectively speaking, we have no clue if the bull market is dead, but we are very close to finding out. And if the bull market is not dead, we may have just seen the bottom today. Now, I'm not telling you that was a bottom because we do not have enough price action to confirm it, but it definitely is a low risk entry. And that is the definition of why some bulls may be risk on from today's lows. And it's only going to make sense if you fully understand this chart that I'm showing you. So it is possible for some traders to remain risk off while others are getting risk on because we did get the risk off breakdown when we broke down from the lower high into the lower lows and you can see multiple lower highs and lower lows. And now that we have that risk off environment, if you are looking to catch a falling knife or trying to time a bottom, you are now looking for the risk on environment, which is going to be the April lows and support. And below that, we're looking for the July 2023 highs. Now, if all of that support fails, it is going to look very nasty and very disgusting. And it is going to likely look like the market is going to crash. And we already saw the VIX above 50 today, even though that did start to crush near the end of the day. That is not a VIX level we have seen since the crash in 2020 and the great financial crisis in 2008. So those are definitely bear markets and crashes you do not want to ignore. And that is why you would want to get risk off if we lose all of this support here. So I think with all of the clear risk levels that we have, and we do have very clear risk levels, and that is step one as a trade is you should not be trading if you do not have clear and critical risk levels because at the end of the day this is always about managing risk even though you are trying to put the probabilities in your favor you are never going to win 100% of the time so risk management is the only way you are ever going to be profitable because you cannot let your losing trades outweigh your winning trades so be very focused up here I do believe there is a very good chance that this could be a market bottom the reason I'm saying that is because I'm getting enough sentiment readings and enough people calling for crashes and recessions and saying the top is in and the chances of those people being correct are very slim. It doesn't mean they won't be correct. But in a multi-year bear market from the highs, we have now had a full 16 to 17% correction. And that is extremely typical for a very powerful bull market to get anywhere between 10 and 15% corrections, especially with the volatility in the NASDAQ 100. So I personally am risk on here. I have very clear risk levels. I do understand this is not for everybody. If you do not agree with this or you do not want to try catching a falling knife and you do not want to risk losing, even though the risk is low, then you would simply just stay risk off until we get some more bullish price action. And very quickly here, I'll zoom to the right and I'll show you what you're looking for if you're looking to get bullish and you're looking for a break of this downtrend. And at some point you want to see a higher low and a confirmation that higher low is a higher low when we break to the higher high. And then there's a very good chance the bottom is in. And at that point, if you're buying, you will likely be buying at much higher prices, which is completely fine because your probability will be higher. But if the market were to turn around and go lower, your risk would be higher. So risk and reward are always directly related. The higher the risk, generally the higher the reward, which is why catching the falling knife will favor the people that are looking for low risk entries because they have to take on a lot of risk to catch a falling knife. But the benefit of doing that is they'll also get high reward if they're correct. So if you can learn to get the low risk entries while knowing where where the risk is at, that is where you're truly going to develop an edge in swing trading. And that is where we've been able to get the low risk, high reward trades all during these last two years of bull market. So that is my style, as you have probably figured out watching my analysis, I'm always looking where I can get those low risk, high reward entries. And I do want to stack the probabilities in my favor. So one final thing I want to show you is I want to switch this over to an hourly chart. And I do want you to be aware that because I'm showing you the possibility on the daily chart that we're at support, we also did get an hourly double bottom breakout on the NQ contract. We did get the higher low right here and we're starting to break the highs. So if the market just continues to blast off tomorrow, I will not be surprised because everything on the chart is allowing for it. We have the double bottom breakout, which is also a higher low. We have the second higher low that is currently trying to break out. And if we continue higher based on the daily chart I just showed you and the fact that the NASDAQ 100 is the leader in this bull market, we may have just seen a market bottom and that could mean we see an extremely quick recovery, which is called a v-shaped recovery where you can essentially recover losses just as fast as you saw the losses we could just go right back up but that will require high volume buying and that will require the chart to favor the bulls with the continuation of higher lows and higher highs 
So one more tip I'll give you before I let you go is watch this hourly chart as well because you're getting a lot lower risk if you use this hourly chart and then manage risk at the higher lows because all bull trends, if they're going to continue, will continue to make higher lows and higher highs and you can manage your risk along the way. So I will not be surprised if this is happening, but by all means, I am not claiming this has to happen. Respect the downtrend, respect the panic, respect the sentiment that we're going to crash because sometimes it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And if everybody truly is running for the door, I will not be surprised if we actually do go lower. But right now, this bull market has given up a lot of year-to-date gains and it's getting near very attractive levels for buyers. So I just wanted you to be aware of this. I think there will be a lot of fear-mongering out there and sometimes you just need to see a level-headed analysis that things aren't really that bad, especially if you have risk management in place. So the sky is not falling because you control your risk. You take as much risk on as you want or as little risk on as you want. Control risk through position size and stop losses on breakdowns of critical zones. And at some point, we know this market will go higher. At some point, it will reach a bottom. So I do think it is beneficial to stay laser focused on where you should be entering long trades and not so much worried about where you should be shorting it. If you want to short this market, I am not saying you can't. I am simply saying for an inexperienced trader in a volatile market, you need to slow things down and focus on where we could go and manage risk around those critical levels. And I think when we're talking in a few months from now, you'll be very happy you did that. And I think you'll be doing very well. During this volatile market, I am doing tons of intraday updates in the Discord server, as well as giving you all kinds of ideas on where you can manage risk from and where you can look to trade this market. And volatile markets are very profitable for disciplined traders. But for inexperienced traders that never seen volatility, this market can chew you up and spit you out. So if you want access to all of my intraday updates, my technical analysis, and my trade ideas during this volatile period is a great time to be in the Discord community. And you can find out how to join my Discord server by clicking on the link in the description of this video. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you're crushing this market. And as always, I will see you in the next episode.